On the latest episode of Hack My Growth, we look at three SEO plugins you can use to create schema markup for your website. All right, let's go. Thanks for checking out this video. If this is your first time watching or maybe been watching a while and you have not yet hit subscribe, please do so now. And don't forget to turn on alerts. That way you know each and every time we create content. So as I said in the opener, we're gonna be talking about three different SEO plugins you can leverage to add schema.org structured data to your website. Now this is really important when it comes to ranking for those rich features in Google search today. So let's look at which of these plugins you can use, what are some of the capabilities, as well as the limitations when it comes to using them on your website. Okay, so let's look at three SEO plugins we can use to implement schema.org structured data onto our website. The first one we're gonna be looking at is Yoast. Yoast can be downloaded from the WordPress plugins uh, tab inside of your site itself, or you can get it in wordpress.org and then just upload it. It's obviously much easier just to do it within the back end here of a WordPress site. Go in plugins and searching for Yoast. Once Yoast is installed, you're going to see this little icon down here. And to get started with it, you're going to want to hit general. You're going to want to go through the configuration wizard. And what this is going to do, it's going to walk you through uh, your site itself to see which type of markup they want to inject into your website. So we can give you know two different options here. We're gonna go B because we're not indexing this site. So what's the purpose of this site? This is where you want to select what your site is about. Is it a blog, you know, a shop? What is it for? In this case, let's say it's a small business. Here is where you're actually going to be building out your schema. What Yoast is actually going to do, it's going to give you like local or organizational schema as opposed to really allowing you to select the different types of structured data you want to add. So Yoast is going to look at it from a very broad category, really looking at indexing your business, improving your business's visibility in Google's knowledge graph, um, making sure that you have the ability to earn a knowledge card. So what you would do here is put in your information, fill it out. Um, you would add your logo here as well. You would also go through and, and add all of these different profiles that you have, Wikipedia, YouTube, um, Pinterest, anywhere your site is online. So we can just do, I'm just gonna do some test ones here. So what this does, this connects your social accounts to your main organization, your business. It creates a link known as a same as, and what this is going to do is, is say, hey, when you see this Facebook page or this Twitter profile or this Instagram URL, it's actually part of this main business here that we're talking about. And this is maybe where you see something like, um, you know, Microsoft Corporation. Like you would type and you'd see this right here, uh, a knowledge card, and you see all their profiles here. This is where that same as connections happen, where this information is being pulled into from, from this structured elements. So once you fill all that out, you would hit next. You know, it's gonna walk you through all of the other process here that has to do with SEO, search visibility, authorship. And again, authors could have to do with publishing your content because Yoast will put article markup on your, on your blogs. And if you have more than one author, you're gonna to wanna to have more than one author schema or person markup added to your site. So you walk through this entire process, you kind of tell it how you want it to index, how you want things to, to work. I don't want any of this stuff, thank you very much. And then that's it. Now Yoast has been configured and it's on the, the website. So we can go ahead and open this in a new tab. So now you're gonna to wanna to run this in the rich results test, which is different than the structured data markup tool. This is where Google's moving to now. You wanna go ahead and put the website that you're testing in here um, or whatever website you just installed Yoast on for your organizational schema. It's gonna analyze it for a couple seconds, a couple, maybe a minute, just depending on how, uh, how, how large your site is and how many files it's gotta go through. And it's gonna tell you if you're eligible for a rich feature in the search results. So it's almost finished up here. And here you go. It's right now just pulling the site link search box um, which will say, okay, here's the website, here's the brand, here's the description, here's the organizational schema, there's the same as test that we just put in. Uh, it's got the image object, which would have been our logo as well. Um, and everything's looking the way that it should. It's also got some search action, stuff that it's gonna put in there, like we have search on our site, um, the ability to pull that into the search results as well. So that's what Yoast did for us. It went ahead and just implemented this straight into the page itself. And now we're, we're good to go. Now this is only covering a very basic level of structured data. It's only looking at organization, it's looking at our website, it's looking at articles and authors. 
It's not going to do things like FAQs, how to's, Q and A's, reviews. Those things um, are not something that you're gonna find out of the box with the Yoast plugin. So in order to do that, we're gonna have to leverage another plugin. And in this case, I would uninstall Yoast and move to the next plugin where we're gonna talk about, which is SEO Press. Now with this plugin, you're going to need to upgrade to the pro option in order to really reap the full benefits of schema markup and structured data. So once again, if I go to the dashboard, you will have a setup very similar to what Yoast just walked us through and previously. So again, we would click get started. Um, it would tell us, okay, do we wanna import stuff? So I can actually import it from Yoast. So if I'm migrating from Yoast over to this tool, I could do that right here, which is really nice. It actually allows you to migrate from any of these um, other WordPress plugins. Once again, uh, it's gonna help us configure our site. So are we gonna use a pipe or whatever? What's the title tag gonna be? Are we a person or an organization? And then you would walk through here and, you know, again, fill out your information. Um, make sure you have the, the photo. It's not as easy here as Yoast was. Like Yoast just said, okay, here you go. Copy this, uh, copy this photo. For this one, you're actually gonna have to go to your media bin and pull out the URL of your logo. It's a little bit of a pain in the butt, not as easy um, from, from a user perspective, but it's also not the hardest thing in the world to do. So again, going through this setup wizard here, um, we'll do this a little bit different just so we know it's a different plugin. And then, uh, so you can add again all the same as like we talked about before, hit continue. It's gonna walk you through the entire SEO kind of indexing and how you want your pages to be shown and the way you want your title tag set up and all that jazz. Um, configure SML site maps. We're just gonna, uh, we're gonna be done. because so we're really looking at schema here. Now, this is just putting in, again, one, the basic markup. We're just talking right now about um, organizational markup. We haven't gone any deeper in the other schemas. This is what SEO Press is going to do for you right out of the box. So once again, if you ran this, this site into the rich results test, we can see the results that are populating for us. All right, so something happened a little bit different here. As you can see, before we just had the site links search box, um, which is going to have um, the same thing we had before, but as you can see, the organizational markup isn't here this time. Instead, what we had, we had this box here that showed up for logo. And in logo now we have organization, logo, SMA marketing, and then the same as like we had before when it came to uh, the organizational schema. So what SEO Press did is it actually had pulled it out and injected in its own markup while Yoast actually attached it to the, the site link search box or the website markup which they had. So they added it here while SEO Press added it as its own separate markup. Now, SEO Press and Yoast, right out of the box, the free versions will give you this organizational schema. But if you spend $39, what you can do with SEO Press is quite in depth uh, and extremely helpful for adding a number of different markup types to your site. So once you've enabled Pro, you have this box here that opens up, it's called uh, Schemas. And now I can actually create a number of different schema types. So I can go article, local business, FAQ, a course, recipe, job, video, events, product, service, software application review, or custom as well. So there's a lot of different things I can do. So for instance, if I got a local business, so I can go in here and name the business, and I can actually here pull it straight from the, uh, the WordPress inputs that we've already put in. So when you're selecting the business type, it's important that you select one that is actually pulled from local business schema. So on schema.org, they've got a list of all the different types of supported local business markup right here. Uh, make sure you choose the one that is most specific to your business. Now, some of these areas, if you click down, there are subsets of these, these more specific types. So make sure you find the one that is most closely related to exactly what your business does. So again, here with the home and contractors, I can get more specific and say electrician, general contractor, house painter, so on and so forth. So for, for my business, it would probably fit in like professional service. And you have to write it exactly like it is here. You can't do like professional space service. You have to put it together. So in this one, you're actually gonna to wanna to do a manual text and add that in. Now again, 
For this image, you could uh, choose a manual image from the library. Uh, you could either upload an image or, once again, just attach it through here. And you want to do everything that you can as specific as possible. So you're going to need address here. A lot of this stuff you're probably going to have to put in manually because you don't have those values in here. Um, but once you fill this out, you'll have a, a a local business markup, and you can do this for a number of different types, which is which is really helpful here. So I'll fill this out, and then we'll go and see what it looks like. So once we filled it out all the way, we're gonna hit update. So it saves this this structured data type. Now, in order to enable it on a specific page to to really create that specific rule, we need to go into the pro section of this plugin, go to our structured data types, and check this box right here. In this structured data type, this will allow us to, um, you know, edit any of our schemas, but also make sure that you know we've got the right logo and everything set up in here as well. So it's kind of another level of setup. This is our publisher logo um, that will um, be shown when we publish pieces of content and be attached to us as an author. Make sure we save changes here. Now we're going to go over to the contact us page, and I'm going to enable the local business markup. So now we're on the contact us page. I can just scroll down here and you see we have one automatic schema that's associated with it. It's the local business that we created. Now if we wanted to, we could actually disable this um, and create something different if we wanted to through, through manually, but we don't. We just want to keep it as is. So we're going to go ahead and hit update and now we'll test this page out. Here's the contact us page of the site. Uh, we could either run it in the rich results test or there's this really cool plugin uh, in Chrome and it's called structured data testing. You just click it and it actually runs the test right on the page, which is really nice. Now you can see here we've got the, the website and the organizational markup, but we've also now got this professional service local business markup that this is being pulled from what we just injected using SEO press. I can click on that and I can see all the different elements here. Now you can notice that we need to have a telephone, so it's going to tell me when I've got a warning or an error so I know exactly what to fix as well. This is a really helpful plugin that can help you when you're testing and implementing structured data on your website. So highly recommend this plugin. I'll also have a link to this in our blog post on our website so you can check it out and just download it and enable it. Um, didn't create it, but the people who did did a great job. So that's one way that SEO Press can do it. You can also do it directly onto a page just custom wise. So let's say you had, um, you know, a uh, um, an FAQ or something on this page that you wanted to add, you could do that straight within the SEO press tool as well. So you would just go down here and you would select a manual type. You can say, okay, which kind do I want to do? I could do an FAQ or a job or a video on that page. And it would just, you know, walk you through what's the name of the video, the description, everything that you need to do to have that uh, updated. And you can even validate it right here on the page as well. So this is a really flexible plugin. It not only does a number of the things that Yoast does, but uh, this is really one of my favorite SEO plugins that's available for WordPress right now. And I really like the fact that it allows you to easily integrate the main types of structured data that are being used right now in order to help improve our listings on the web. So the next plugin we're going to look at is just called uh, Structured Data for WP and AMP. Um, this one is really 100% for enabling structured data on your website. And it's, it's pretty easy to use. All you need to do is enable it. And now again, you can start to build out your different structured data types. So uh, again, just like the other ones, it's gonna have a start here um, as, as kind of the setup process where we could um, choose the type of, of structured data that we wanna do. Um, by default, it's on this uh, accommodation one. We can also do a creative work if that's what we're doing. Um, you know, product, place of worship. There's a lot of different um, options here. Again, we would do organization in our case. Uh, it's going to walk us through this entire process. Um, pretty easy to do. Just follow the steps as you go through it. So as you can see, after we've set up this organization, you've got this opportunity to add reviews, which you'll have to attach using a little bit of their... Uh, their, their documentation, but you also are missing a number of other elements like the same as properties or the uh, logo property. Some of the things that we're kind of pulling up naturally within Yoast as well as SEO press. Now you can manually modify this, um, but that ends up being quite a lot of steps. It almost would be easier just to write the JSON yourself and, and add it to the page instead of walking through this process because it doesn't even walk you through uh, what the next 
the next output should be. So for somebody who's new to structured data, they might not know that, hey, I need to, um, you know, I, I need to add this or what's what's actually important. So things that you need would be like logo. Um, and you can add a featured image or a manual image or a fixed image, um, all important stuff. But, you, you know, it, it's not as intuitive for somebody who's not used to using this or really wants to automate it as much as possible. If you're a little bit more familiar with it, you may find this process very easy to do. But really, from, um, from, a, from a new user standpoint, this one is not as intuitive. Now, one thing that this plugin does enable you to do right out of the box without having to pay any extra is adding some of that markup directly to the page itself. So if you want to go ahead and create your own custom schema, you can do that here. And it just gives you this box where you can insert the, your markup wherever you want. Again, this is really going to be used for somebody who is maybe writing their own JSON-LD code, wants to add it directly into the page and allow them to continue on with, with their work that way. So if you're somebody, honestly, more like myself, who likes to create their own JSON-LD and inject it directly into the pages, this plugin actually may be something very good for you. It's not as user friendly from a new person using it, wanting to walk through step by step, but it is something that you can do by implementing your own uh, structured data code. So I'm going to get a piece of code. I'm going to inject it into here, and then we're going to run the rich results test and we'll see how it all plays out. So once we have our code written, we can go ahead and dump it right in here and hit update. Now we can take this once again, and we can run it through our rich results test, paste the code in, and run it again. All right, so once again, now we're going to see this logo box pop up, uh, very similar like we did to the SEO Press example. Organization, here's the name, here's the URL, uh, the logo, and something I like to add is alternative names. Again, that's going to create a semantic connection so the search engines know that these two things are the same. You'd also want to add social profiles and probably a contact point. Uh, into your organizational schema as well. So again, the benefits of, of this tool is it allows you to inject your custom schema right into the page. Now, building out your structured data types over here, you need to have a little bit um, deeper understanding of how structured data works in order to ensure that you know you have all the correct fields. But overall, this tool is pretty cool. So that wraps up this video on the three SEO plugins that you can use to inject structured data and schema.org into your website. Now there's quite a few other ones out there, uh, a lot more than we covered in this video, but those are three of some of the most popular right now across the web. If you have any questions on these plugins or how to manually install schema.org structured data to your website, please comment on this video. Uh, if you're using a different plugin, you've had some success with that, please share that with us as well. We'd love to have that conversation and continue uh, the growth here on this community. And until next time, happy marketing.